I want to talk about Biden's hypocrisy. He's a big old hypocrite. All right. I don't know if you know that about him. Well, and the Democrats, really. They're all hypocrites. All right. They they say this. They do that. Um, first and foremost, this is, uh, this is also from the Daily Wire. The left said Amy Coney Barrett's faith made her a radical. But now they say Joe Biden's faith makes him devout. What's the difference? What? What? I don't understand. Joe Biden couldn't even say the word God. That ever, all people are born under the oh go go you know the thing. Yeah, he was he was supposed to say God there, but he was talking to a bunch of extreme leftists that probably don't believe in God anymore. All right, and honestly, it doesn't matter to me what you believe. All right, you believe what you want. All right, I'm a libertarian in many state state uh, different facets of life, especially this one. And that's what America is built on. You believe what you want to believe. But he would, he couldn't even come out and say it. And then they were attacking Amy Coney Barrett because she was open about her religion. And they ridiculed her for her. But now, I guess Joe Biden's upping his talk about being faithful. On Sunday, President Joe Biden attended Sunday Mass at Holy Trinity, a Roman Catholic church in Washington, D.C., that he's attended since his days as vice president. Soon after, social media and legacy media outlets alike were awash with praise for the devout faith being put on display by the new president. A New York Times called him perhaps the most religious observant commander-in-chief in a half a century. My goodness, do they just love I, I want to say some stuff, but I'm going to refrain because I know that there sometimes is uh, younger generations following my show. Whoo, brown nosing. All right. They love brown nosing uh, this man, don't they? Goodness sakes. Uh, celebrating that a more liberal Christianity grounds his life and his policies. CNN ran near celebratory headline announcing to the world that Biden's Catholic face will be on full display as the first public church going president in decades. NBC News touted Biden's faith on display celebrating this renewed presidential ritual while the New Yorkers praised his practice of carrying a rosary as indication or an indic um, indicative of a public servant's deep faith. Rather than questioning how President Biden's Catholic faith aligns with his indisputably anti-Catholic positions on issues like abortion, the message from the media was clear, his faith is a humanizing badge of honor, his regular church attendance a sign of consistency worth emulating. If you're surprised by this sort of courage, it's easy to see why. Just three months ago, the same media praising Biden for his devout faith was working feverishly to convince anyone who would listen to Amy Coney Barrett's strict adherence to Catholic teaching make, made her a radical. Far from making her more qualified public servant, Amy Barrett's Catholic views were an indictment to her capabilities, weaponized by the same media now worshiping Biden's worshiping. I like the way they, they put that there. Check this out. Biden actually... He plans for safeguarding America's faith-based communities. He's actually, wait, let me see. There's a list here. He's actually trying to establish a faith-based law enforcement program. What does that mean? I, I, I don't understand. Look, they're, they're actually still asking for money. Together we can make Donald Trump a one-term president and defeat Republicans across the country. Uh, it, it's a little, little over, but they're pushing this faith thing. How does that go over with his, uh, you know, most of his supporters? Do you think they're they're about that? I don't know. To me, it feels like this is, he's kind of flipping the switch on him. In fact, he is on many fronts. Let me see. What's next? What's next? Ah, yes. We're eight months into this pandemic and Donald Trump still doesn't have a plan to get this virus under control. Well, I do. Oh, really? What's your plan? Well, there's, there's nothing we could do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. Everyone was like, did he, did he just admit he doesn't have a plan? People had been asking what your plan is for months before the election. And he goes, you'll know after the election. 
look, I'm going to get, let me get elected and then I'll let you know my plan. Gets elected. I don't, I don't have a plan. There's nothing we could do. Nothing we could do. So the, the internet, of course, went crazy. They're like, what is this? What is this? And then suddenly they were like, he's got a 100 point plan. And it, it, you know, they were spreading this picture around with him holding like this checklist, you know, and just like the plan. He still hasn't said anything. He hasn't announced what the plan is. It's just a mask mandate on federal property, which he himself didn't follow. All right. The same day he signed that executive order that you shall wear a mask on federal property, he went to a federal property and didn't wear a mask. This guy. This guy. Oh, what's this? Biden to reimpose COVID-19 travel ban that Trump lifted in final days? You mean the one that he put in place that you called him a xenophobe for, Joe Biden? That same travel ban? Yes, it is. In fact, it is the same travel ban because... Oh, here we go. This is a, a perfect. Yes, Biden absolutely did oppose the China res, uh, travel restriction and called them xenophobic. He did. He's like, oh, man, there there Trump goes again with his xenophobic, you know, hate race hating ways, putting this travel ban in place. What? And then he goes and, and does it, you know, and then oh, this this really got me. Here, here is uh, the new press secretary. This woman's a freaking joke. All right. Asked when asked about, uh, I don't know who, who is this guy. Uh, I think he works for Fox. Yeah, Peter Ducey straight up asks her. Well, uh, when Trump was imposing travel bans in March, specifically on China, Biden called it xenophobic and fear mongering, which is true. And now Biden is putting travel restrictions on, and people coming in from other countries. What word do we describe that? She goes. Well, we always uh, didn't agree with the Muslim ban. And it's like, what Muslim ban? It wasn't even a Muslim ban. All right. He banned certain countries where terrorists were coming out of. All right. He didn't ban Muslims from entering the country. That in itself is fake news. Okay. Now, fast forward to early 2020. Biden was talking about Trump initiating a travel ban, which everyone criticized him for. Which, in fact, probably saved a bunch of lives because less people were coming over traveling from infected countries, mainly China. But Biden's like, well, wait, you're going to put down China, you xenophobe. So then he enacts the same thing three days, four days into being in office. What's the difference? What is the difference? This guy is literally doing what he was calling Trump a xenophobe for when he, Trump probably saved a bunch of lives. He'll never get credit for that, of course. Um, and and Biden will probably they'll probably somehow rewrite history to make it seem like it was actually this this time right now where we are in in, in this pandemic where we where we are here. It's important that we put a travel ban in place. Back then it was xenophobic, you know, because it was it was Trump really it's who are we kidding right that's the reason because trump is a xenophobe right that's that's what they believe so they'll just keep spouting it over and over and over in the media that it's good to do it now but it was bad then and people will just accept it because they're sheep i'm not even holding back anymore it's the truth these people man they they just believe whatever they're told oh man what what uh i i just I'm in shock at this stuff, man. The whole fracking thing. I will not ban fracking. Kamala Harris comes out. He will not ban fracking. That is a fact. Let me see if I can find that because that that is hilarious. I didn't I didn't prepare it because I, I actually forgot about it. But it's like it's the same thing. What's the difference? They're gonna ban fracking. They knew we knew that they were gonna ban fracking. Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. October 7th, 2020. Guess what? He, I mean, there was even videos of him looking at younger kids. Or, you know, I, I say kids, but younger generations, probably adults, but, you know, early 20. I don't remember how old they were, but looks right up and goes, I'll look you right in the eye and say, I'm definitely going to ban fracking. 
Trump kept posting, uh, kept playing that on his uh, at his rallies, and people were like, "Right, because we don't believe him. Of course, he's going to ban it." Boom, bans it. Boom, stops the the pipeline. The pipeline XL canceled. Eleven thousand jobs instantly gone. In fact, it's m way more than eleven thousand. Look at this. Let's see where 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 do I got it? Where do I got it? This guy, Brent Smith. All right, he was talking about how it would be eleven thousand jobs. In fact, it's way worse. Biden's plan to cancel the Keystone XL pipeline will mean the loss of 60,000 anticipated jobs. Not just anticipated, but they're saying up to 70,000 jobs are being cut right now. And they go, actually, I got a picture of it. Look at this. This this was is hilarious. Biden admin to pipeline workers. You can find another job. You can find a lot. Did they just tell these pipeline workers to learn to code? Did, did 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 that just happen? Basically, you can find another job. Don't worry about the 11 million undocumented citizens that are or excuse me, non-citizens that Biden's trying to make citizens. Don't don't worry about all the all the hundreds of thousands of people storming our our southern borders right now because they heard Biden's going to make everyone a, a US citizen. Make them a citizen. Look, my wife isn't from America. We had to go through a process so that she can legally live here with me. And and we went through the process. It wasn't cheap. It's kind of expensive, but it was worth it. So we could be together. All right. But we went through the, the motions. We went through it legally. All right. If you want to legally come here, come here legally. But now they're talking about jobs, they're getting rid of these jobs. Where are these people going to work? And wh where are these jobs going to come from? Oh, now they're opening up the country. Governor Whitmer, well, you know, we it's time we opened up. Cuomo, man, these businesses need to open up. Who else? Uh, Gavin Newsom, we got to open up these businesses. The, the How obvious it is that these Democrats are just smacking the American public in the face. Psh, shut up and just accept it. Psh, go get another job. Psh. Except that these illegal immigrants are going to be citizens and they'll work for less and cheaper than, than you can. $15 an hour. Oh, also, we're going to raise the minimum wage, $15 an hour. Do Nobody, none of them are, um, are good at ec the economy, economics. They're all lawyers. None of them understand what it's going to do to the economy if they raise it to $15 an hour. It, it, they are it. All I can see is they're trying to crash this country and make it burn. Okay, it, it's insane the direction that we are heading, and and they're just being blatantly obvious about it. We even got these tweets people keep uh, talking about. They're like, "Man, I I I didn't vote for this. I I I didn't uh, I didn't vote for this. my biggest fear is a Biden presidency was foreign policy in just three days." He's authorizing troop escalation in Iraq and Syria, which is true. I did not vote for this. Did you? Yes, you did vote for it. Yes, you did. If you didn't know that that was going to happen, did you not realize Trump was keeping us out of war? That the establishment, the, the military industrial complex wanted to keep going? How much money they make out of war? Oh, yeah, the Keystone XL pipelines is being canceled here in America. Well, guess where a new pipeline is going to be going through? Syria, right through the center of it. Yep, exactly. Gosh, for people who pay attention, it's obvious. You know, I've been watching. I'm like, this is so obvious. They're going to go build that pipeline. They're going to go fight. They're going to the, the military well, the world police is back. The establishment's like, yes, we can make money off of all of what we were making money on. My friend, uh, one of my friends was saying, man, gas is getting expensive. I'm like, yeah, it's probably going to get worse. And one of my liberal friends is like, where are you going to, how are you going to prove that? And I'm like, how am I going to prove it? Uh, Buttigieg is trying to tax gas, it raise the taxes on all gas, all gas. Okay, that's your not just your cars. That's for truckers. Okay, that's your your heat in your home, which actually tends to be natural gas. But it doesn't matter. All of this stuff is 
we can't just switch from fossil fuels to fully electric everything, which in itself is a whole nother conversation because we still need to mine lithium and get batteries out of the earth. It's all bad. All of it's bad. Okay? There's no such thing as clean energy, period. Okay? Period. All right. Oh, oh, well, solar panels. Oh, solar panels. You know how solar panels are made? Yeah, it's not a clean, it's not clean. All right, what about the old solar panels? Look, you're, nothing is going to save us. We, <laughs> these people just think that it's so easy to just go, oh, well, we're going to vote for Biden because he's going to save us from all this, the, the tyranny. It's like the tyranny. Do, do you realize how many, do, do you know how many executive orders Trump signed on his first three days? One. He signed one. Do you know how many Biden did? Like 17 or 18. It might have been more, actually. But that's regardless. They they were claiming Trump was this tyrant. My goodness, he's a tyrant. No, tyrants, dictators, they don't lose elections. They tell you who won. Okay? He doesn't... He, he didn't slam through all these executive orders. That was Biden. They're the ones who had an armed inauguration <laughs> it's crazy when you take a step back and just look most people don't know how to do that um and I, i'm assuming a lot of you do but that it's it's pretty ridiculous it just reminds me of that tom mcdonald song do you guys know it people so stupid it's a good song it'll get in your head fair warning um <laughs> fair warning uh man so uh is it 27, 30? Some people, I think it's 27, 5, 25. So oh, easily over 20 uh, executive orders signed by Biden in the first three days. Some people said uh, 27. I think that actually might be right. 27 in three days. That's nuts. 27 executive orders. Hey, look, the presidency is not just the, the ruler of America. Hello. Did you forget con Congress exists? You know, you're supposed to work with them to create laws to, to make things happen. You're not just the end all be all. That's what the left has been convincing everybody is the way it is. They've been convincing people that Trump is this tyrant who just makes all these laws and, and is everything's his fault. But now suddenly Biden's in charge and they're like, hey, what is your favorite ice cream? We would love to know. That's your hard hitting question. The hardest hitting question I've seen so far is the one I just went over. Hey, he called that xenophobic and uh, he's doing it now. What What up What up with that? And all she just deflected, deflected, and deflected. She didn't even talk about the question. She didn't answer the question at all. That That's your new press secretary. Wonderful. Deflections. Lies. Ugh, man. 